Eating Grove is the best place to live. We all know it. Eating Grove has zero percent unemployment. Eating Grove children are 36.8 percent more attractive than children in neighboring villages. Eden Grove foliage is 67% more colorful than in other area towns. And we have more ice cream shops per square mile than any other town in the nation. But sometimes, even in the best of places, disaster strikes, devastation hits, devalued real estate ensues. This is one of those extremely rare events. But don't worry. We're here to help. We're here to inform. We're here to keep you calm. We're here for you. We're the Eden Grove Town Council. And, and we make everything okay. Perfectly okay. Calm down, Eden Grove. Calm down. Yes, calm down, Eden Grove. Everything is okay. You may think everything is scary right now because beavers have overrun the town. And chewed up so many things. And, so many things. And we don't know where Raju is. No, Raju and, and Tanner, our intern, uh, should be coming soon. We sent Tanner out to, to bring Raju. So... And when he gets here. When he gets here. And then and then when, when Raju gets here, everything will be, be okay. Everything will be okay. But until then, we're just here to say, calm, calm down. down. Eating Grove. Eating Grove. Yes. Because, li listen, Eating Grove is a great place to live. It's perfect. But every now and then, something happens. Really, just twice so far. This is time number three. Time number three. But, I mean, we're here to let you know that despite this beaver crisis, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Can you, Susie, can you tell people a little bit about how the beaver crisis started and, um, and, and, and maybe some of the implications? Well, my own personal first experience with the beavers was when I was um, bringing out my, my guinea pigs, so Sophie and, and Fred for their morning balcony time. They are not garden. beavers, to be clear. Everyone no, should well, know this. No, well, this is my point. Okay. I spotted an animal in the distance, and I thought, oh, this is a guinea pig, because you know how I feel about guinea pigs. You were going to rescue them. I was going to rescue them. But then I got up closer, and it was not a guinea pig. It turned around. It had a log in its mouth and orange teeth, and it was ah, not a guinea pig. Oh my gosh, and, that and sounds horrifying. I'm so sorry was, you had to was, see that. And from there we learned how much damage they've been doing all around the town. Oh. They destroyed the gazebo and the in the in the, the schools. Tumor. The schools are out of session now because the they made those schools out of wood and the beavers love it. They the, love that wood. The 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 forest preserve, the uh, everything is being destroyed by these beavers. It's <laughs> like tornadoes like trees falling everywhere left and right you would not know like these beavers they go through trees like butter butter like i go through butter when it's late at night and i'm a little hungry and it's terrible well, well any moment now tanner and raju will walk through that door and everything will be fine any minute now there they come tanner tanner yeah. You made it! Tanner, that's Raju's seat. Where's, Where's Raju? Raju? He didn't make it. Wait. Ah, wait. No, wait. Beaver wait. killed Raju? No, wait. No, he, he's just a very slow runner and tripped. Where is it? He tripped and you left him there, Tanner? You had one job. You're our intern and you had one job. You were, you were supposed to bring Raju here. That was the one thing. I, why are you here right now? Should I go back? No. No. It's best that we all stay safe. 
for the moment. You know what? We'll send you back in a minute, but for now, you know what? We're getting overheated. Yeah. Let's go to commercial. Let's go. We'll we'll be right back after this. This is a calm down. Mother Nature maketh dirt. Mother Nature taketh away. I'm Brett Fandango. The man behind the sand is Brett Botanical at the Eden Grove Farmer's Market. This here's my newest customer, Bob. Sup, America. I'm Bob. I make all of my Brett's Botanical cleaning products from 100% natural materials I find just laying around in the public parks and the green spaces and even growing up through the cracks of the concrete here in, in Eden Grove. I firmly believe that everything from nature is what's best for us, especially if that nature comes from the best town in the world, Eden Grove. Damn right. But don't just take it from me. Take it from Bob here. Yeah, you know, let me explain something to you about a little thing we like to call nanotechnology. What the hell is a nano anyway? Sounds made up, CIA. That's right. But not with us. We're not making any stuff that's going to mess with your DNA. We're keeping it organic and real. Yeah, uh, I don't know 100% sure about what Bob's talking about over here, but... uh, Have you seen my YouTube videos? I cannot say that I have. They were up for a day and then they took them down. Something about terms of service, like, terms of service is like... We don't like you're telling the truth. That's what Terms of Service is about. Well, I can tell you for 100% sure that there's none of that there nanny technology in any of my products. No sirree. Come on, Brad. It's <laughs> nano. Uh, or technology of any kind because that goes against everything I stand for. Nature made, not man made. That's a Brett Fandango promise. Brett's Botanicals, now 100% poison ivy free. Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate it. That um, not only supports our show, but it gives us ample time to catch our breath to after cal- to calm down to calm down Eden. after just t- telling tanner how much he let the town down frankly I, I you know we don't need to revisit that i am a bitter disappointment we've all known that from the beginning you know just the mention of the the farmer's market though brought a little bit of a smile to my face mm-hmm. and, and it calmed me down yeah yeah, yeah, I love sure. the, the farmer's market, and um, it's too bad that it's had to go on hiatus in light of the recent events. The beavers, because the they, they chewed up all of this, the booths and the stands. So there's just, it's just and vegetables on the ground now, and it's just soaps on the ground now, and it's just, it's just um, other things like this is not flowers on the ground. Beavers don't eat flowers. They don't eat soap. They don't even eat cheeses. They just eat wood, and that's it. And they build things with it. And um, they didn't build anything today. They, they, they just they just destroyed destroyed all the beavers. Do they come here and they they eat and they destroy? I I just wish we knew that Raju was safe. Yeah. I do too. I miss him. I really dropped the ball here. I, I I wanted to pick up some trash because I thought that Eden Grove should be free of all litter. And, and hello, was- Eden Grove Council. This is your neighborhood friendly eye in the sky. I think oh. I may be of assistance here. It's our eye in the, eye sky. In the sky. So for those who don't know, our eye in the sky is um our drone. Sorry, not a drone. Our friendly. Eye in the sky, who 
keeps track of things in town. And lately he's become sentient and started talking to us, which is fine. Um, it's fun. completely fine. Normal. It's fun. Yeah. And like we're normal. almost, he and I in particular have become close friends. I in the sky, you said you found Raju. I have visual on Razu. Would you uh, like me to bring up video of his phone camera? Because I yes, of uh, course have access to that. Oh, Eye in the Sky, thank you. Show us Raju, Eye in the Sky. Bringing up Raju now. That's him. Oh, he, oh, shit. He's alive. First, he's alive. Beaver. Oh, my God. But he's fucking currently beaver. being chased oh, by son of a bitch out of night. Oh, I'm no. so sorry. Raju, no. We he's in trouble. Tanner. Raju. You just left him. Okay. One beaver I, has a knife. You. Come on. Oh, no. Tanner, you just left him. Big fella, you Walking their dog. It's a small dog, so I feel bad for this. That how beaver's gonna you... fuck that dog Raju, up. Raju, we, if you can hear us, Raju, we hope you're okay. Yes, and we're coming this. for you. Why are you talking? This? And you I don't know why beavers need beaver weapons now, knife. because they oh, tell us sick as fuck. They use their tail to come pack and make damn. And those sharp ass teeth. Just tell me it doesn't know magic, too. See? I, I don't. That concludes my visual of no. Raju. Oh no! That he is currently running at three miles an hour down. This is all too. This is all too stressful. We're so slow. This is all too stressful, and this no, this was show. Not calming at all. This show is meant to calm down your okay. th yes community well, and to calm. And so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let. We're going to let um, Anna Castor show off her talents. She's been this, working on... A soothing hula hoop. Yes, yes she I mean, has a very soothing breathe. hula hoop artistry. And we're going we're gonna to take a look at that now. Hi, my name is Anna Castor. And, oh, she's um, so lovely. Loop uh, handling has been my hobby and my life uh, for the last three days uh, and today I'm going to show you what I have uh, learned. Oh, she's running. I hope there's no beaver. No oh, it was just an artistic choice. Is she okay? Yes, look how graceful and beautiful. Oh, this is so wow. nice. This is exactly what we need. I've never seen anything like this. There are a lot of kids in my neighborhood with hula hoops, but no one can do that move in particular with the hand. Well, she's an artist. She's not just, you know, playing around. Yeah, here. this is art. Oh, did you see that neck oh, catch? Yeah. That slight neck catch? That's the, you have to work for oh. years. Oh, look, oh no, oh look, around. I wonder if there's a name for that move, the around the. Around the, the face. Oh, and now look there. Oh, she she's knows. hooping. It's actually around her belly. Oh, and did she did the little move where it goes all the way to the ground seamlessly. Oh my God. I love that. Well. We we hate to cut we hate to cut this short, but it sounds like we have a call in um, from Nicholas Goodman, okay. our very own local entrepreneur, Nicholas Goodman. Hello, Nicholas. Are you there, Nicholas? Hello. Great to see you a now. Cypher sore eyes. You were the one who um, came up with i don't know what it was like a, some kind of a service to fight the porch pirates so you had a porch pirate service that you were marketing last time and this time do you have a new a new service for for us today yes eden grove council i would like to introduce the newest goodman enterprises service i am now Offering beaver hunting services for oh, Eden Grove. I, as you can see, I'm in my beaver hunting outfit right now. You look so Nicholas, well equipped. Nicholas Goodman, have you been reading my mail? Because this is exactly the felt need I have at this very moment. Mm -hmm. And and we're looking at some footage. Can you explain that to us? What are you doing here in these trees? The, the, I'm using my karate and ninja skills to be a beaver hunter. As you can see, I am protecting my home from beavers. I, I have had no beaver attacks in the last three hours 
That's a three three hours. hours. That is more than Raju could say. That's some very clever camouflage you have going on there, Mr. Goodman. Incredible. I will offer my services and for a hundred dollars a piece, I have beaver traps I can sell you. Oh, what type of traps? They're cages with delicious wood in them that the beavers love to eat. And have you taste tested every bit of the wood in the traps before you sell them? Yeah, yes. My favorite is maple, but you have to be careful for those winters. Yeah, that's that's the exactly. So you ate the wood personally just to test it out personally what a hero. yourself. What a hero. Yes. yes, this town would not be the same or safe no. or anything without you, Nicholas. Good. Yeah, it's good that we have at least one hero in this town. I am here for all of you and to catch those damn beavers. All right, great. Great, thank you. Thank you, Nicholas. Nicholas, um, um, we knew you'd have a, you you would have the perfect solution to these problems, but um, and end this crisis for us. Th there are two things you need in a crisis, in my opinion. You need to you need to address the crisis, and then you need to make everyone feel better about the crisis. So I think you are handling the first one. Our next um, our next feature, I think, handles the second one. Yeah, up next we have um, more calming entertainment. Um, this time, is it's from Eden Grove's own Wilson Wade, the Whistler. Oh. Eden Grove proudly presents Wilson Wade, the Whistler the Third, four-time national champion of the World Whistler winners at Eden Grove's Pride and Joy. grandson of Wilson Wade the Whistler II. His father just a common shoe cobbler. And we are ever so lucky to have him in our town. You may know him by songs that he covers by whistling. Songs like One by U2, WAP by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. He also is always at the most top of his vocal health because he is going to nationals. He is training for nationals. His whistle is nice and wet. Make sure you see him this, this weekend at the town fair. Get all the town fair snacks. And make sure you catch Wilson Wade the Whistler, the third. And I think we have video of, of Wilson Wade the Whistler having a snack before his performance. Hey, hey, he's choking. Hey, he's choking on me. Hey, hey, cut. Hey, cut the cameras Stop. right now. Cut. Cut them. Cut. Right now. Well, that calmed me right down again. I'm a little worried for him right now like is he well okay i just i want to hear i want it i want to hear more whistling is all um yeah the whistler calmed me right down oh, yeah it was good it, me, it calmed me down enough that i feel brave enough to check in on raju oh again. is raju yeah let's check in on raju i bet he's found a safe spot now and if he is eye in the sky good, could you sorry. queue up what? And if he didn't, I'm again very sorry, yeah. Raju. Yes, How long could I be of assistance? I in the sky. Could you please bring up Raju? Show us that he's okay. Yes, my human friend. I will gladly show you. Thank you, bud. Raju. Thank you, friend. My only friend. Thank you. 
Raj, Ra Raju happening now for my friend. I think that evolution will make their teeth dull and not as strong and their tail as flimsy and weak now that they know how to make weapons from scratch. That's damn it, beavers. The beavers now have weapons. Oh, no. oh shit, there's one right in front of me. All of them Just all of them I think he's do, fucking like playing chicken with me. He is now playing chicken oh, fuck with you. a I'm not afraid of oh, you. Gosh, somebody's gonna move, it's not gonna be me. It's not yeah, fucking gonna be me, I'm not moving. I was on this road enough. first. Yeah. I was oh. born and eating girl. Oh, I Miles per hour is so exactly. fast. Okay, fuck it, he wins. This is not exactly filling me with hope. You know what is filling me with hope? Our, our town's youth? Yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. The children, the youth of our town. Let's, let's hear from one of them. What's up, Eden Grove Council? It's your favorite local teen, Sam Higgins. All the EG teens elected me to be the teen spokesperson to keep y'all up to date with what's actually going on with us, since you rely on weird BuzzFeed articles to tell you. We all hate your show, just so you know. But my mom tells me it's something I'll grow to like once I get a taste of the real world and understand what's really going on. <laughs> As if growing up on a hot ass planet that may internally combust at any moment and end our short lives isn't enough of a taste of what's really going on but okay mom we could talk about the ethics of you having children knowing we may never see our 30s later all right just a quick review of what's in and what's out hopefully you've all had your coffee and can stop adulting for a minute to listen what's in loving whoever you want and identifying however you want you dum dums Thrift stores, masks, TikTok, until we let you know it's not cool anymore. And vibes. What's out? Skinny jeans. Mom, I swear. Showing up at school's meetings and yelling instead of going to therapy. Vegan cheese. Cry laugh emojis and hating on beavers. Why is Eden Grove hating on beavers so much? Feels like a lot of waste and energy toward a species that was here before humans were even here. You're on stolen land anyway, so dial down the freaking out at the thing that doesn't fit here anymore stuff. It's trite and derivative. Kind of feels like you might be jealous. They get warm coats they don't have to spend $300 on. They can swim. They can chop trees in an hour. They can build their own shelter. They know how to thrive through different seasons and not complain about how sad they are in the winter. Y'all love your anxiety. I'd say this sounds like your dorky live off the land and survivalist friends, except that beavers also like to live in groups of 10. And y'all have a weird obsession with rugged individualism that forces you to live in smaller pods and get stressed when you need help. Seriously, I think that's why y'all are so mad all the time. You all like to say, it takes a village, but damn, you don't have a village. Like maybe y'all could learn a lesson from these beavers about families and not buy a bunch of Chip and Joe home is where the heart is trash from Target. Or maybe don't insist we have dinner together every night, but then tell me I need to be ready to be on my own the minute I turn 18. What kind of backwards crap is that? Family is where the heart is one day, and the next day, good luck finding your own wood to build your shelter. The beavers would never! Us Eden Grove teenagers are pro-beaver, and you need to chill out with where your mind just went, because that is just about as cool as quoting The Office. Anyway, I'm here to formally let you know we're working together with beavers to help build a new skate park. They get to do what they love, chomp on some tasty wood, and we get to build a place to chill so you can stop yelling at us for existing in places you don't want us. We're holding a bake sale fundraiser this Friday at 6 p.m. to help us raise funds for the materials for the skate park. And we're going to compensate the beavers fairly. We don't think anyone works for free, you anti-minimum wage increase weirdos. I don't know, maybe the Eden Grove Town Council can consider helping us out by okaying the permit and funds request we sent a month ago. Or consider not using those funds at another dorky-ass 20-foot chair in the middle of the town square. Ugh. Anyway, we're looking for folks to contribute to the bake sale. And good lord, if you just had a thought to make weed brownies, please stop trying so hard. You aren't being cool, mom. Okay, 
I gotta go. That's it for me, Sam Higgins, but I'll be back soon to keep you up to date on what's going on with Eden Grove teenagers. Remember, stop hating beavers, start loving an unbinary world, and help us out with our bake sale this Friday at 6 p.m. Oh, and one more thing, council member Richard. When you're ready to talk about your side part, cardigan, and blasting Olivia Rodrigo when you think you're alone at a stoplight, we'll meet you anytime, any place. Okay, Mom, I love you! That was not okay. What, the you, parts before the last part were not okay, and I don't care about the last part. It didn't you, affect me at all. You seem to not quite be in touch with the youth in our town. They seem to have... Well, you know, I think I have a place now to sell my grape pie. Remember that grape pie recipe that I, I gave a couple episodes? Sorry, I can't hear anything you're saying. I just hear blood rushing through my head. Like I um I think you look very sharp. Thank you. Um, I would just like to say, as Eating Grove intern, I'm very disappointed that I didn't know about this youth problem. I will write another newsletter, I swear. And then I will find Raju in a different order than what I just said, though. Richard, you seem stressed. Do you want me to play Brutal by oh, hey, I, Olivia, Rod Olivia hey. Rodrigo? Your uh, um, actually, could you could you play some more hula hoop? That would be great. I think we yeah. all need some hula hoop right That's now. Right. We could all nice, with some hula hoop. calming playing hula hoop video. Hi. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That's exactly what I needed. Just it's a green circle. Some and good. It comes around. Look how seamless and just. Yeah, and those trees are fine. Look at how healthy and and unnawed upon those trees are. They're great. They're yeah. great. They're great. They're great trees, and they're and this hula hoop. <gasps> she is... has her hands up as she's doing it. Oh, she's look at the, the hula, hula hoop movement. She's doing hula and the hula hoop at the same time. Wow, is that is what, that what they call, call it meta? They call meta. Right? Oh, so is yeah. that a meta thing? So I bet Sam would like that. I bet he would like that. As someone who doesn't know enough about kids, mm -hmm. we should know that. Yeah. But I think that is meta, though. I think that is meta. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, speaking of meta, um, one of our local residents, Natty Natterson, has been writing some really interesting music. Yes. And and just he keeps pushing the envelope. He's one of our yeah, he's um, our, a, yeah, he's a um, Eden Grove Middle School uh, music director. Mm hmm. Our Eden Grove Middle School music director, Tanner. You a fan of Natty? I, I love Natty. He is the best middle school director. And did you have school. him as I a did. teacher? I, yeah. I did. And, and he taught middle school grades six through eight. Did you play an instrument or sing or? A kazoo. A kazoo. kazoo. Interesting. Awesome. Well, well, he wrote a new song and it's, and I've heard that I haven't heard the song, but I've heard that it addresses exactly the situation we're experiencing right now. And it's a, it's maybe, maybe we'll get our spirits up to fight the beavers. Let's find out. Here's Natty Natterson with his, his special song. I just have it written down beaver song. That's all he told us. Um, here we go. Are the future beavers are our future beavers are the future beavers wood nature aquarium zoo cages family wolf pack captivity of beavers stuck in zoos stuck in lodges trapped by the dam dam damnation survivalists stuck at home trapped by the walls we build dam for what we get dam for what we will do dam 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 carpenters stuck in a daily routine Wake up Eden Grove. If you stop, you'll be overwhelmed. If you don't keep knowing, your teeth will grow into your jaw. There's something in me that grows, takes up space. Beavers are the future. Beavers are our future. Beavers are the future. Eden Grove, 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 Eden, 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 Beaver Grove. Please keep what you can. Beaver Grove, Skate Park, Beavers, Skate. 
Ollie. Grime. Half pipe. Beaver Grove Skate Park for Eden Grove Bake Sale. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. No, uh, I I wasn't expecting that either. I, I was expecting a kazoo, and there was no kazoo. And no, no, not a bit of kazoo. Not nothing like Natty Natterson's other music. It was a total departure, and I don't appreciate it. It was. Um, well, I thought it was a clever use of the of the texting. Oh, that um, was yeah, that was cool. The, the video was nice. Well, we're getting a lot of opinions from teenagers and musicians. Um, frankly, I think they should shut up and play. Anybody? But um, let's get some facts. How about that? Let yeah, I think we. I think it's a good time to hear from somebody who so an expert. An expert. So yes. We've got a, a particularly good expert um, today. Her name is uh, uh, Betsy. Bet the, Betsy, the Beaver Lady, and she sent some thoughts about the beavers that um, that that might help us understand what's happening to us. Here's Betsy. Hi there, I'm Betsy. Some of the folks asked me to put together a little video, so um, I'm just doing that. Sometimes people refer to me as the beaver lady. It's all right, it's a term that I, I love. I feel I've earned, honestly. I love beavers. That's why I'm sitting out here on my porch. They, they love water, which is, you know, why I, why I moved here to the lake. It's dusk. And we all know beavers are nocturnal, and if I want a glimpse of one, I'm thinking tonight's going to be a good night. <laughs> uh, you like the mug? All right, let me, let me explain a little bit about that. This mug is a prototype. Yeah, I think, uh, think there's a market for mugs like this. In fact, you know, little sayings like, Busy as a beaver, eager beaver, another one. And they work really hard to build those dams and those beaver homes. I just want to share some of that back with folks. And I think that this coffee mug collection is something I could probably sell on Etsy. I've already looked into it. I, I'm telling you, I gotta, gotta drive all the way to Eden Grove to do the shipping. It's kind of a bit of a drive, but I could probably, you know, swing it on Wednesdays, maybe Fridays, get in early for the fish fry. Gotten some good feedback from, uh, my friends. It is a coffee cup. There's a little bit of bourbon in there. Yeah. yeah, I won't tell if you don't tell. You know, a lot of problems with beavers lately in Eden Grove. The beavers are great. They're really lovely creatures. A lot of people in Eden Grove, they're kind of being antagonistic towards the beavers. If anything, I'm a beaver protagonist. I love beavers. I love what they stand for. I love that they form families. One of my favorite beavers, Trixie, she usually comes by around this time of day. You know, just a little visit, like a lunch break maybe, you know, before she goes out there and fells some more trees. They've got these beautiful web feet. It's a little known fact about beaver. They're actually rodents. They're the largest rodent in the rodent family. This beaver is massive. These guys are three to five feet wide, spread out. You know, think about a mouse and then think of a beaver. They command a presence. All right, I think I just heard one of them. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go down. Oh, this is exciting. This is like the best part of my day. I pretty much moved up here so I could, I could be close to the beavers. <laughs> And they bless me every day with their presence. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go down. Ah, we're gonna see if we can find one of these beautiful creatures. Uh, oh boy, what do we got? Oh, it's almost sunset. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think she's somewhere over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a look. This here is a Trixie. She's one of my favorite beavers. See, she's got a beautiful coat there. Really beautiful. Um, thanks for, for coming to visit me.
Well, that was exciting, you know, got to see a couple of my beaver friends. Um, hoping, you know, they got to stop by before work, kind of, kind of mantra. You know, they got to get to cutting that wood. This is one of my uh, evening rituals is to just kind of sit here and watch the sunset. Kind of wait for my beaver friends to show up and say hi. You know, maybe throw them a stick. Yeah, just uh, enjoying the sunset. Thought I'd share that with y'all. You know, they live and work very hard at this lake. Probably the ultimate work-life balance, if you ask me. I'm Betsy the Beaver Lady, and I'm signing off. Getting ready for nighttime. Oh, you like my little beaver? Yeah, my whole ensemble I got. Okay, baby, I'll take it off. Well, oh, here I am between two such young men. Look how youthful you are now, Richard. Oh, thank you. I look. This is how I this is how I dress normally. I just I just thought I would um, become more authentic for you at home. Well, speaking of authentic, the the uh, the the beaver the beaver lady, Betsy the 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 beaver lady made me question whether I should embrace the beavers. I will never embrace the beavers as long as they're tearing down our town. Because Eden Grove is perfect as it is, and it doesn't need people coming in and ripping it apart. They they are going to build the skate park for the for the teens. Do you not know what skate parks do to towns? They destroy them. Have you not Have you not read a book? Read a book, Susie. Just I'm just saying. Cut into my quilting time. And, and I feel like kids at skate parks could read books at maybe the skate park. Maybe. Maybe they could read books at a skate park. And maybe what we could do is but we could hand out books. Then again, there are the very violent armed beavers well, chasing after Raju. And yeah, there is know. that whole thing. In fact, we need to check in on Raju. Is yeah. I in the sky. I in the sky. I in the Hi, sky. yes. Uh, my, my friend Richard. Hello. I in the sky. How are you doing today? Uh, I say hi too. I'm doing hi, hi at Eden Grove Council. Hello. And my friend Richard. Uh, did you see how he addresses you versus how he addresses me? Richard, you are looking very youthful today. Thank you. If I had a physical body and not just floating phyllotes around in the space of time, I would want to look like you. Oh, I, that's not where I thought that was going, but I'm glad it did go that direction because I also like it's a compliment. Thank you. It's awkward talking to a, a robot. Uh, and and really, robot. we're we're not here to. To collect compliments. We're trying We're here to, to see Well, we could. Raju. Just a couple yeah. more words is, for... Uh, oh, Raju. Right. Raju, how's he doing? Is he doing good? Let's check in on Raju. I, while actually, I have bird's eye view of the beavers chasing Raju. Chasing Raju still? Oh, did, no. Did the beavers... Oh, no. Did they develop magical powers? I, yes or no? It, oh, no. They're I huge now. Almost at the tenor. We don't spot. Um... Just will watch it, safe. but surely he'll get back to safety soon. Three miles per hour. Keep up the pace. Good night, oh my God. They are studying our game. Hey, magic. Tanner. Yes. Good morning. <gasps> watch out from behind you. Move. Run, Tanner. Run. Hold on. Let me catch up. No, don't run that way, Tanner. No. That's where that nest is. We got it. He is now running Fuck. to the Tanner nest. Tanner ran the wrong way. I feel so bad. Raju, don't run to the nest. I feel Raju, so bad. Don't, don't sacrifice yourself not for to the, the nest. nest. You know what? Here's a palate cleanser for you. Oh, oh she then. caught that. Ooh. So much better. Thank God for Anna and that And all the spinning she does. Anna Castor, you're my hero. 
Oh, you better go oh. catch that hula hoop. It she almost did. got away from you there. Whoa, look at this. Oh, it's back. She's got it. And again. And again. And again. Do it again. Bye. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Thank you, Anna. Anna. Thank you. Wow. I, I could watch this forever. Whoa, 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 like that. Just around. If the hoop had feelings, do you think it would get dizzy? Yeah, definitely. You could not get dizzy. If, if you were the hoop itself, you would get dizzy. Yeah. Yes, you would. Yes, you would get dizzy. That's Look good. at her go. I wish right, I was night. half as graceful as her. Well, that's good hooping. Good night, everybody. Calm down. Calm down. Be prison, be gone. We're taking care of it. Calm down.